Apple's next MacBook Pro is just around the corner and leaks confirm a fall 2025 launch with blazing fast M5 chips, Wi-Fi 7, Thunderbolt 5, and up to 25% performance gains, but no redesign. Is this speed bump worth the upgrade or should you wait for the big 2026 overhaul? Let's break it all down. Apple's M series is about to leap forward again, but this time it's all about what's inside. In this video, we are covering the latest M5 MacBook Pro leaks, confirmed specs, release window, and the big question, should you upgrade this year or hold off for something even bigger? Now let's take a look at the release timeline and model variants. Apple is set to launch the M5 MacBook Pro in October or November 2025 alongside the M5 iPad Pro. Three configurations are expected. Base M5 for 14-inch and 16-inch models, M5 Pro, and M5 Max. According to 9to5Mac and Bloomberg, production is ramping now. And the M5 chip is built on TSMC's next-gen 3NM process for better performance and efficiency. And what will be new in M5 MacBook Pro? Let's have a look at this as well. The CPU and GPU will be 15 and the CPU and GPU will be 15 to 25% faster than M4. And the neural engine will be 32 core, optimized for Apple intelligence. In the connectivity, we have Wi-Fi 7 plus Thunderbolt 5. And if you take a look at the battery life, that will be potential 1 to 2 hour improvement. Now let's move to the AI performance. It will be on-device Gen AI boosts and faster rendering. This means smoother workflows for video editors, coders, and AI enthusiasts. Now let's take a look what's staying the same. If we take a look at the design, no changes in chassis, still the same notch, ports, and mini LED display. In keyboard, trackpack, and ports, there will be no major changes expected. If we take a look at the camera, then it will be same 12MP FaceTime HD camera. In RAM and storage, likely starting at 16 GB to 512 GB. A complete redesign is reportedly planned for 2026 with the M6 chip and possibly an OLED display. Now let's move on to the performance gains. Expect 20% faster 4K and 8K exports for creators. Compiling large Xcode projects or editing in Logic Pro will feel snappier. Battery life could improve by an hour or more due to efficiency gains. Wi-Fi 7 and Thunderbolt 5 open doors for faster networking and accessory workflows. If you are a performance-first user, the M5 gives a clear boost, even with the same exterior. Now let's move on to the question, buy or wait? Buy in 2025 if you skipped M2 or M3 and need more speed now. If you want Wi-Fi 7 or Thunderbolt 5, if you rely on AI or video tools daily, and you should wait for 2026, if you want a full redesign with OLED, you already own an M3 or M4 model, or if you value release timing and want the next big leap. So is the M5 MacBook Pro just a spec bump? Not quite. It's a serious power boost in a familiar frame. But if you want design innovation, 2026 might be your year. Let me know in the comments, are you buying the M5 or waiting it out? And I'll catch you in the next video.